By default, we use unique identifiers for item references. On the Author API list view, you can see them here at the top of each item row. These guarantee uniqueness and that we don't have conflicts where different items might accidentally have the same reference. These references are quite flexible and you have full control to allow your authors to be able to edit them, to have them read only or even to hide them completely. You can even set up a prefix which would appear at the front of the reference if that suits your workflow. However, some people might think that these references are a little hard to read. In that case, we recommend using item titles instead. Via a simple configuration flag, you can show a friendly label that is fully controllable by the end user. They are even able to be duplicated. If I go and create an item, I now see title up here, and I can call this anything I want. The reference is still there under the hood, and it doesn't conflict with the title. Now, titles are not mandatory. You can leave them completely blank. I'll just create a question here. Once I've created my question and I go back to the list view, I can see that the list view falls back to the item reference because I didn't specify a title. If I do specify a title, save, when I go back to the list view, I will see that title. Now in the activity editor, we have the same thing. When you go and create a new activity and you're searching for items, you will see the title here or the item reference. It's up to you. This is available today in the Author API. Consult the docs for more information.